Thanks again for visiting OptimizationTutor.com and today we're going to do an awesome tutorial on advanced use of QR codes. Now if you're not familiar with QR codes, uh, here's a quick reminder. They're just these little barcode type things that people scan with their phones. If you're on Android, you, you should download Google Goggles and use that. Um, basically it stores data um, and one of the types of data it stores is URLs or basically links. So you can put links on stuff like um, this. This is the back of my business card. I also made a brochure. Check this out. Okay, so this is a brochure. It has a QR code on there. Um, how do you track in analytics, in your Google Analytics, QR code scans? So that's what we're going to be covering today. So let's go to... Um, Google type in Google URL builder and it will take you to a page that looks like this so this is the page we want people to land on but we don't want people to land on there without any tracking and let me show you what that looks like before we continue go to analytics um, so you can see this is the dashboard click on traffic sources and oftentimes you see a direct traffic right here and it's just this big bucket that shows a bunch of stuff and you don't know what it is so when you click on that um, you can find out like what landing page they did so let's go uh, landing page which page they landed on and so we can see right here my test you know there's three visits to this URL who is David Johnston because that's you know the the page I want people to see when they scan my business card of course you know it's kinda makes sense right so we want more information like you know where did they come from you know, what type of device were they on and that's where uh, Google URL shortener comes in um, so this is let's go through the steps you take your URL that you want people to land on uh, you can right click copy or control copy go to um, the URL builder tool right in here paste um, paste the URL and then you have to give it some information so campaign source I'm going to say I'm the source um, rather than Google or whatever campaign medium I'm going to say okay well this is QR code um, so it's the medium like PPC or pay-per-click or banner or email whatever it might be um, and then campaign name I'm going to name this business cards so I can track what's going on in, with all the business cards for the people in my company with this one thing. So hit generate URL and you get this long URL. And you go over to Google URL shortener. Of course you have to be logged into Google. And then you paste it in here and click shorten. You can see we already did that and that's this one right here. Oh here it is. Okay so so it goes to my uh, profile page. But you see here in the URL it has that information encoded and that tells analytics that data that we were talking about so let's go back to analytics so you can see where that's at click here okay go over here to uh, campaigns you see right here this is really cool so now we can see business cards have been inserted into Google Analytics and it tells me my visits page time on view all these different things bounce rate that are important you could set up advanced goal tracking so you can see did they hit your thank you page, did they hit your contact form, did they buy something, that type of thing. That's why that's so useful. So that's really cool. Now if we go over here, just one other cool thing you can do, besides having the link, you can see stats of clicks and stuff, but click on details. Ah, uh, so you can see here, okay, so here's the long URL. Here's some stats. It shows you the clicks by the hour, which is really cool. You can see where they're referred from. You can see what countries they're in, uh, what browsers they're using, and what platforms. So if you have a lot of clicks, you'll see like iPhone and Android and different stuff in here. So go ahead and take this QR code right here, right click it, and hit save as. And save it to where you're going to save it for, because we're going to edit it. Um, I've already done that, so I'm going to hit cancel. And go to whatever you're creating. So let's say this is. Um, I'm right here. To get this, I have to edit it first. 
So what I've done is um, I've opened it in Photoshop and go ahead and click the magic selection tool right here, which is really cool, and click on this black color and see how it, it highlighted this. We're going to do it one step further. Click similar in the drop down. Ah, so now all the black is selected and go ahead and hit delete. There we go. So now we have white with a clear or empty background. Go ahead and uh, save as. Make sure you select PNG and save it to where you're going to save it. And go back to where you're creating your, your art. And if you're on a Mac, you just go and grab that image and drag it in. If you're on a PC, you can just copy and paste. I believe you can drag now with Windows 7. So there we have it. I have this really cool design. It shows the design of my card in the background. And I've tested this, of course, and it scans great. So when somebody scans it, then the first thing that happens is they're going to go through the Google short link URL. So that's going to give you some tracking stats. But this doesn't track everything like what they did on your website. Did it turn into a conversion? Did it turn into a sale? You know, hopefully you have goals enabled on your analytics and you have if you have a shopping cart or anything like that, you have e-commerce set up so your e-commerce can tie back to your campaign sources, your different keywords and stuff like that so you can know where your money um, is going. So it goes through here, it's tracked, it's redirected um, to the long URL that we built. Of course it lands here, um, but it has that, that URL information right here in, encoded into the URL. So the person scanned the QR code here and a link popped up which brought them here. So the user doesn't know but we were able to track that marketing effort. So this is an advanced use of QR codes to tie your offline marketing to your online and be able to track it in analytics which is important because if those QR code scans uh, generated money you're going to want to know, right? Or if they turned into um, a sign up or a lead form. Hopefully you're tracking all that in your analytics too, um, which we're going to produce some videos on how to do that later. So one thing to keep in mind is that your offline marketing affects your search engine optimization these days. So Google, if you're using an Android or your customers are using an Android, they're tracking their user behavior. If you're worried about ranking in Bing, then you have stuff like the Bing bar and a bunch of other stuff that shows um, user behavior, all that stuff is tracked to show the popularity and relevance of your website. Uh, especially, especially when they can track it to a geolocation, you can get special ranking locally, that kind of thing. So we hope you take that into mind and we hope you appreciate this uh, advanced use of QR codes. Thank you so much for visiting us again and we hope you have a great day.